Hey y'all, hey. Today we are reading Dragons Get Colds Too. Every new dragon owner learns that just like humans, dragons get colds too. However, caring for a sick dragon can be a daunting task. Follow these simple steps and your dragon is sure to feel better in no time at all. Step one, determine that your dragon does indeed have a cold. Fact, dragons rarely use tissues due to their flammability. Instead, dragons try to wipe their noses on acceptable alternatives. Tip. A dragon seldom wears sleeves, so your sleeve is the next best thing. For sanitary reasons, keep extra shirts handy. Dragon snot tends to be rather gooey. Thanks to your skillful investigation, it's official. You have a sick dragon. It's time for treatment. Step two, give your dragon the proper cold medicine. Please contact your local dragon pharmacy for more information. Fact, it is nearly impossible to give medicine to dragons. Tip, the classic spoon airplane method is a simple and effective distraction technique. Yet, your dragon may require a bit more creativity. It's best to have a full dance routine ready, but remember, Dragons are rather harsh critics. <laughs> now that you have medicated your dragon, it is important to feed it an adequately nutritious meal. Step three, be your dragon's spicy food. It is the perfect thing to clear out that stuffy nose. Fact, dragons love volcanic sushi rolls and exploding chili rice cakes. Tip, wear protective clothing if following this step. Fiery sneezes and rotten fishy burps could prove dangerous, so proceed with extreme caution. Excellent work. Your dragon's tummy is now satisfied. Next, your dragon is probably looking for something fun to do. Step four, entertain your dragon. Fact, bored dragons are grumpy dragons, especially when they are stuck inside. Tip. Choose activities that will appeal to your dragon. Try a board game or a charming giraffe puzzle. Dragons think giraffes with their long necks and skinny legs are hilarious. One giraffe puzzle guarantees at least one hour of uninterrupted dragon amusement. Great! Your dragon is now sufficiently entertained. Although all the fun is most likely wearing you out. No, that says, although all the fun is most likely wearing it out. Step five. Sick dragons need lots of rest. Fact, dragons absolutely hate to rest. Tip, if your dragon is being especially stubborn, offer to read it a book. Consider building a fort for the two of you to read in and always bring flashlights. 
Shadow puppets in a fort are a must. Everyone knows this. Fantastic. You have eased your dragon into a restful slumber. Now, make sure to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. Step six, never wake a sleeping dragon. Fact, sick dragons tend to fall asleep anywhere and everywhere. Tip, leave your dragon wherever it has fallen asleep and do your best to avoid any noisy activities while it slumbers. Don't be fooled by those deep snores though. Dragons are very light sleepers. <laughs> Outstanding! Your dragon is getting the rest it needs. Here comes the final step. Step seven, dragons need time to recover. Fact, dragons on the mend are terrible at remembering to take it easy. Tip, singing along to some favorite tunes is the perfect activity for any music loving dragon. Consider adding an instrument of your own making to the mix. Except, don't forget to wear earplugs. Dragons are enthusiastic, but extremely tone deaf. Congratulations! You have successfully nursed your sick dragon back to health. You see, with a little confidence and guidance, anyone can tackle the challenge of caring for their dragon. And remember, if you take good care of your dragon, your dragon will always take good care of you. The end. Dragons get colds too.